Hi guys, so I've got three super simple summer hairstyles, whoa, that was so many S's, in one video for you today. I thought I would do a hair video because I never do hair videos. And I'm going to include how I wash my hair, what I'm washing it with at the minute because so many people always ask like how I get it so shiny. So I thought I'd include my little hair care kind of routine as well and then go into the hairstyles. So if you would like to see that, carry on watching. So this is what I look like when I've just got up in the morning. I usually have my hair up in a bun and I'm quite orange because I've got a lot of fake tan on. But I just take it down, give it a little brush. I go ahead and pop some music on. It's usually Ari, let's be honest. And then I jump in the shower. The range that I've been using on my hair for a few weeks is the L'Oreal Paris LV Colour Protect range. It comes in this red bottle, but they've got a ton of different ranges which come in different coloured bottles. And if you want to find your hair obsession, I will leave a link in the down bar to L'Oreal's website and you can basically do this little test and find out which of the ranges would be the best for your hair type. I've used the blue range before, which is the L'Oreal Fibrology range, and I absolutely love that one, but I do think that the red colour protect one is the best for my type of hair because I do have really coloured hair. I tend to put the colour protect conditioner on the top of my hair where my roots are. And then I'll just go ahead and take the Colour Protect mask on the ends of my hair, just where it's a bit more damaged and needs a bit more love. There's a daily prize draw that I thought I'd tell you about for the chance to win a year's worth of bespoke LV products for your hair. Just tell them what your favourite range is and follow L'Oreal Paris UK on Twitter and Facebook and L'Oreal Hair on Instagram to win. Once that's all washed out of my hair, I then take a towel and just towel dry it, but I only squeeze it out rather than roughing up the edges because that is really bad for your hair. And then I go ahead and take this L'Oreal LV Extraordinary Oil and pop that through the ends. I'm on to my second bottle of this because I love it so much, it's definitely an essential for me. All that's left to do is dry my hair with a hairdryer and straighten it and then we're on to the hairstyles. So onto the first hairstyle, you just want to part your hair in a side parting and grab three sections of hair from the parted side that you've parted, if that makes any sense. And then what you want to do is start Dutch braiding it. But as you're braiding it, you only want to add hair from the portion that is going away from your face. This is quite hard to explain, but normally you would add hair as you go along to both sides. But yeah, only take it from the portion that is going from your face. It creates a more cool kind of casual look than if you take hair from both sides and I just prefer this look to be honest, I think it looks way more modern. Once you've got a little bit past your ear, you just want to carry on plaiting your hair to the end without adding any more hair to it and then just tie it off at the end. Then just do the exact same to the other side. Once you've done both sides, you can just leave the plaits down by your head. I think that looks pretty cool, but if you don't want to do that, you can then just take the two plaits, put them behind your head and tie them with a bobble or some bobby pins just to create this really cool off the face look. You could also just grab all of your hair and tie it into a really neat ponytail and that just creates a really cool version of your standard ponytail. It adds a little bit more interest. My hair does not show up very well on camera, so I apologise for how these might look, but I promise you, they do look really, really cool in person. It's just because my hair is so dark. But onto the next hairstyle, I just took my hair extensions out so that I got completely natural hair and parted it down the middle. I then took a section of hair running parallel to my parting and tied that up. And I did that on both sides. And no, we're not doing space buns right now. This was just to get them out of my face. And I then tied the extra hair up at the back just to make sure it wasn't in my way. And I took one of the little space bun things down and did a proper Dutch braid running backwards along my head. Thank you. 
Once I was done with that, I just plaited it a little bit further down and tied it up and then moved on to the second side. And then once that was done, I took the plait out of the first one and decided to tie it up in a little space bun. Now this looks amazing in person. My hair just would not pick it up, which is so frustrating. But seriously, if you guys do this hairstyle or any of the others, tweet me pictures because you are gonna look so cool. And that is the end of my three quick and easy summer hairstyles video. Let me know what you think about them in the comments below and which one is your favourite. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!